This tutorial video will explain how to customize, annotate, and export images in CFX Maestro software. We'll start off in the main data visualization window in CFX Maestro, used for looking at gene expression analysis, and we'll be in the graphing tab. Here, we're looking at the expression results of multiple samples of both cancerous cells and normal cells. These samples have been grouped into two biological groups, cancer and normal. Within this main graphing window are several small icons in the lower left. These represent different ways to view our data and ways to annotate our data. There is the standard bar graph view, a box and whisker view, and a dot plot. The annotation tools available are add arrow, add circle, add text, undo, redo, and clear all annotations. Let's start by making some edits to our box and whisker plot. First, we'll add a title and make some changes to the legend. To do so, we'll click on the Chart Setting button. Here, we have the option to add titles. Let's call our chart Cancer vs. Normal. Our axes are pre-labeled with default titles. Let's keep these. But a different font would be ideal, so we'll click on the Fonts tab and then choose Times New Roman and increase the title font size. Now let's add some grid lines to our graph. And under the Legend tab, we'll move the legend to the right side of the graph. OK, that looks good. Now let's say that we want to call out specific data and add text. Click the arrow button. Then just click and drag to point to data. Let's focus on this target with a wide confidence interval. And we'll add text to explain what we're pointing to. Finally, let's just circle the ERG gene. We can move any annotation element to get the positioning just right by clicking and dragging that element to the ideal location. If we decide to delete an item, we can click to delete all annotations. Let's undo that. Or we can right click on any annotation and individually delete it. Now let's take a look at how to change colors in the graph. We first click on the color wheel to open color settings. Here we can choose to show or exclude any sample or biological group from the graph, and can also choose colors for each sample and biological group. Here, we'll change the color for the cancer biological group. We click on the target's color, and then we can choose from a selection of base colors. But what if none of those are just right? In that case, we'll define a custom color. Here, we can enter RGB values, or pick a color on the spectrum. Let's go with a nice brick color. Finally, we have our graph set perfectly and we can export at any size or resolution. Clicking on the Export button brings up options for how we'd like to export. We can choose any width and height for the graph. And set our resolution. Here, we'll choose 300 dpi, or dots per inch, which is the resolution generally preferred by print publications. We can also export in either color or grayscale. And we can choose to export the entire chart, or if we have zoomed in on part of the graph, we can create an image with only that area. The last step is to choose an image format, either bitmap, JPEG, or PNG. Overall, these options provide flexibility and allow for the export of very large, high-resolution graphs, perfect for presentations, publications, or large-size printing for posters. These export options are also available for most of the graphs and charts in CFX Maestro. That completes this tutorial overview of image customization and export with CFX Maestro. 
We hope you found this video to be helpful and wish you success in your QPCR experiments.